I've been having a lot of trouble lately getting the rate on my fertilizer buggy set correctly. We use a lot of different fertilizers that all have different densities. And so it's hard to tell exactly where to set the opening in the back of the buggy to give you the pounds per acre that you're shooting for. The density of a fertilizer is how many pounds per cubic foot it weighs. And if I knew the density and also knew the volume of the bin at different levels, then I'd know how many pounds were actually in the bin at any given time. This would really help me set the rate because if I could put a small amount of fertilizer in the buggy and know how much it weighed, then I can go out and spread it and check how many acres I did before getting too far into the field. Drawing the shapes in SketchUp, I can check the volume pretty easily. In the bottom of the bin, there's a divider that spreads the fertilizer out. And I think that it stays pretty empty most of the time, even when the bin's full. So I modeled it and then found the volume of it. And so I'll subtract this from the total. I started by just checking the volume of the bottom angle part, which was 20 cubic feet, and then split this up into smaller, even pieces and check the volume of them. For the upper part, since it's a pretty basic shape, I just found the area of the rectangle and then doing a little math that I haven't used in quite a while, I figured out how far up I need to move to gain 10 cubic feet because I thought my scale should be in even increments if possible. I took the length of the side and the angle and flattened them onto one plane and then took my measurements of the different volumes at different heights and made some marks for them. A uh, warning to any parents that might be watching this with their kids, there's a graphic number referenced here. Here, let me blur it out for you. I didn't mean for a full fertilizer bin to be 69 cubic feet. This is actually something I messed up on. On the bottom part, I measured along the valley to set my marks, but I should have done straight down the side because the valley is going to obviously be longer. I just had to account for this later when I applied the stencils. I wanted to do a stencil for each side of the bin, so I made four duplicates. I recreated this in Adobe Illustrator to make a file that my cutting machine can use. Then I loaded up my masking material and then uploaded this file into Shortcuts A Lot, which is the program that talks to my cutting machine, and hit cut. It took a lot longer to cut all this out than I thought. It took a whole cup of coffee to cut, but it finally finished up and I got it over my table. I cut the four pieces apart and then one at a time I went through and weeded out the numbers and other marks. At 19.5 is where the bin bends and I put a couple extra marks right at this point that I can center on the bend just to help make sure that all these are at the same height. I'll mask over it once I get it on the bin. Back at the buggy, I wipe down the inside where each stencil is going to go with some brake cleaner, which really helps the stencil stick and also the paint. I measured and marked the correct locations for the lower numbers after I found the error in my ways and got them stuck on. I had to use some masking tape to cover up some of the sides and ended up still not being enough because a lot of the paint drifted over. But I'm the only one that's going to be seeing this, so it's probably not too big of a deal. Well, and I guess anybody that watches this video. Finally got that done. Let's throw some paint on it now. This was the first really nice day we've had basically all winter. It's been a really wet winter for us and we had a million things to do. I really shouldn't have been spending this much time on this, but I thought that it would save me time in the long run. Being more confident about my rate and not having to go back over the field twice if I was too light. All right, let's go spread some fertilizer. I can't believe that took all morning. Usually we haul the spreader. The field's like 10 miles away. I'm just gonna drive up the road. Hi, Drake.
always crap my pants going over that bridge with big stuff. Okay, fertilizer truck, fertilizer, and then I'm spreading. All right, thanks for the ride. Yeah, bro. Can't believe your guys' dog just stayed. <laughs> You miss me? Gotta jump on the scales first. Let's get one more time. I've got a little chart. I can pick out the density and the pounce breaker. It hasn't been very accurate though. So it's kind of just a starting point. And now I can hopefully uh, verify it by putting some in there and knowing how much is in there. Filled the back to 25. And leveled it so I can tell where it was. And 25. Uh, times the density of 65 should be about 1,600 pounds, which is three acres worth. So let's get our AB line, and then we'll see how close we come out to that. The other side of the field put B. Good. 3.2 acres. So I'm gonna close it down, actually open it up just a little bit and call that good. Mm -hmm. 